Welcome back to Morning Drive. Some of Europe's top players have been in action on the Challenge Tour and European Tour over the past two weeks. And tomorrow, the European Tour kicks off its UK swing at the British Masters, hosted by Lee Westwood. This starts a stretch of six straight events across the UK up until the end of August. And you can watch round one of the British Masters right here on Golf Channel. Coverage begins tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Eastern time, and then we'll continue after our show at 10 a.m. Eastern as well. For more, I'm pleased to welcome in the 25-time European Tour winner, former world number one, and the host of the British Masters, Lee Westwood himself. Good morning. So you spend most of your adulthood as a player. You are playing this week, but what's it like wearing the hosting hat as well? Yeah, it's been good fun. Um, obviously, the tournament is very different this time around as, as opposed to three years ago in 2017 when we had crowds. You know, it's going to be quite quiet if you make birdies or, or eagles out there. But uh, yeah, I, I always enjoy it. It's, you know, it's it's a good insight into how a tournament's run and what goes into, uh, you know, all the everything behind the scenes. So uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I always enjoy hosting and seeing everybody come and hopefully enjoy the golf course and enjoy the tournament. How much busy work is it for you? Um, only with regard to there's more uh, media um, jobs and uh, and commitments and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, in the lead up, you know, you're doing a lot more interviews and things like that. And uh, obviously with um, uh, what's happened with COVID and stuff like that, in the months leading up to it, I've become really good on uh, on Skype and Zoom and things like that. Well, you mentioned COVID. It's been a strange time for all of us who love sports. The PGA Tour is back. The European Tour is making its way back. What are the different challenges you think that the European Tour faces in this era, maybe versus the PGA Tour, which is really just happening in, for the most part in one country? Yeah, you know, you pointed it out there. You know, the, the PGA Tour really just is in one country, whereas, it's, you know, the European Tour is a very international tour. You know, we're taking players um and you know from all over the world and and you know playing in tournaments all over the world as well so you know our our testing's been very strict and it's it's needed to be because the last thing we want to do is uh is start another wave of it or get a spike in one of the communities that we're playing um tournament golf in so uh you know that's obviously you know very important to us and uh, we've had to be extra careful Another former world number one, Adam Scott, was very vocal about not wanting to go back to the PJ Tour, thought that he wanted to wait and, and see how things were, thought the testing wasn't strict enough. What are you hearing from players in terms of their comfort level of being back out there? Um, well, I haven't spoken to too many people, but I would say if you're uncomfortable with it, then don't play. You know, Adam, you know, obviously you know, said what he said and, uh, you know, he, he hasn't played. So, you know, there's no pressure on people to play at the moment. So you just got to make your own decisions, really. And uh, if you're not comfortable with it, then uh, then stay at home. It's, you know, clearly the safest place to be. Um, so, you know, I can understand where he's coming from. Well, you were playing quite well before the pandemic, notching your 25th career win in Abu Dhabi in January. Uh, a lot of time has passed. How would you describe the state of your game now? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, you know, I've been playing quite a lot since the golf course has opened back up and, uh, you know, I feel like my game's in good shape. As you say, I started off the year really well uh, with the win in Abu Dhabi and then a fourth place finish at the Honda. Um, so, you know, I was enjoying my golf and uh, I played a lot, and especially on this golf course here um, over the last few months, um, you know, really really feel in good shape to to get going again well speaking of good shape you know i've followed your career and interviewed you several times you've taken great care of yourself physically at the age of 47 you're still one of the best ball strikers out there you're, you're strong what are the chances we'll see you be kind of a latter day miguel angel jimenez still chasing trophies into your 50s and stretching and smoking cigars no, I'm not going to smoke the cigars, but I'll definitely do the red wine, like Miguel. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, this is this has been, you know, the break that we've had. I have I've used as a positive to get a little bit fitter, lose some weight, you know, work on my flexibility and my strength. So, yeah, I mean, they're pretty good footsteps to follow in, aren't they, Miguel's? You know, he's still playing incredible golf, even well into his uh, mid fifties. Well, you know what it's like to be uh, the world number one. Europe has a new world number one 
in John Rom. Just describe what those emotions are like in the days and weeks after you are, you know, announced as the best player in the world. Yeah, John's played some phenomenal golf and, and at a really consistent level for for oh many months now, even years. And uh, you know, rightly so. Yeah, you know, he got to world number one after winning the Memorial. So uh, you know, he's a He's a great young player and, uh, you know, the, when you look at his game, there are very few weaknesses to his game. So it's no surprise that he's got to world number one. Now the tough now the tough thing becomes staying there. Everybody wants that spot. You know, that's what I found. You know, you, you have this goal to be the best player in the world and you get there and you sit on top of the mountain and uh, look around and everybody's coming for you. So, uh, you know, you've got to find ways to... Um, you know, different goals and ways to keep yourself at that high level. Well, you wore that crown with great distinction. Lee, I always appreciate a few minutes. Happy hosting, happy playing, and we'll speak to you soon. Thanks, Damon.